aim of the experiment is to find the volumetric efficiency of two stage reciprocating compressor now let's see the working of the reciprocating compressor a reciprocating compressor is a positive displacement compressor that uses piston driven by a crankshaft to compress the gas piston is driven through wrist pin and connecting rod driven by a crankshaft now the depending on the size the reciprocating compressor are having one or more cylinders cylinder may be arranged in line or in v shaped in reciprocating compressor there is a suction valve and a discharge valve these valves give a compressor its ability to pump the gas against pressure difference they are usually located at the top of the cylinders now let's see how the gas gets compressed during first complete revolution as the crankshaft rotates the piston moves towards the inner dead center as a result the pressure reduces as the pressure is reduced the suction valve gets opened and the gas flows inside the cylinder it flows till the cylinder gets filled up once the bottom dead center is reached the piston gets upward stroke and the suction valve gets closed as the piston moves up it reduces its the volume and increasing the pressure of the gas when the pressure exceeds the high pressure side in the discharge line the pressure difference opens the discharge valve and gas moves outside this is a two stage reciprocating compressor now let's see the parts of the machine this is a three phase induction motor and this is a pulley which pulley is connected with the motor this pulley mechanism drives the crankshaft through crankshaft drives two piston rods where two stage compression takes place now on this side a low pressure compression takes place and here high pressure compression takes place this is a air filter where air gets sucked and between this there is a intercooler with fins now you can see the intercooler this is the pressure gauge from which we have noted down the pressure and this is the storage tank of capacity 150 liters and now you can see the outlet of the compressor this is a pressure control switch that closes down the electrical contact of the compressor when certain set pressure is being reached in apparatus gauge pressure is given in kg per centimeter square and for every unit rise in pressure we have noted down the time corresponding to it now we will see the calculations initial mass of air m1 at p1 is equal to p1 v1 upon rt1 mass of air receiver m2 at p2 is equal to p2 v1 upon rt1 so mass of air delivered per second can be given as flow rate of receiver at p2 minus flow rate of receiver at p1 mass of air corresponding to swept volume ms is equal to ps vs upon rt1 and we know that volumetric efficiency is equal to m upon ms let's see the given values receiver volume v1 is given 150 liters swept volume vs 
is given 277.25 liters per minute with the help of our observation table we have noted down change in pressure and time and then calculated the volumetric efficiency Conclusion Finally from this experiment we concluded that as pressure is increased the time taken to raise pressure in the tank increases and as actual stuff volume decreases due to increased pressure the overall volumetric efficiency decreases